Hi friends, it's Mona with Rock City Tumblers, and today I was going to show you how I uh, put my epoxy in an empty ketchup bottle. So this is like a tutorial on how to clean them out, how to get the labels off, all that fun stuff. So if you're like me, you've tried many, many different bottles, um, and they all just kind of like get real goopy, like this one, as you can just see all the goop on it. And, um, it just, the goop goes down the side, the plastic gives away after a while, and, like, the chemical eats through the plastic. Um, the, the FIFA bottles, the first in, first out, they tend to leak as well, um, and make a big mess. They work for a little bit of time, but, um, you just, I don't trust them, I don't want to come in my craft room and have epoxy dripping down my table. So I even found these awesome syrup containers. They're really expensive. They're like $14 each. And after a while, the epoxy ate the plastic on the lid. So the lid doesn't even open. So that wasn't even a win. So now I've been noticing everyone is using these ketchup bottles. And so some people just use the empty ones that come um, from like Dollar Tree or Walmart, kind of like this, and they're a little bit cheaper than this, and they have a little cap on them, you know, and those are great to use as well, but the plastic does kind of eat at it, and there's no true seal lid, like, so if you knocked it over, what would happen to it, it might spill out, and so I've been noticing all of these tumbler makers, epoxy artists, they're using these ketchup bottles. So um, I got two different kind. These here were the Great Value Ketchup, 32 ounces. It was under a dollar fifty each with tax. Um, and so I cleaned them out, and you'll see that later in the video. And then I just wrote the brand. And then these are Hunt's brand ketchup, and they were 20 ounces, and uh, they were under a dollar fifty each with tax. And so both of them have the same opening size. Um, and so I was able to just pour from my gallon jugs directly into there. Didn't need a funnel. And all that's in the video here in just a minute. But um, they work great when the epoxy comes out. It's very, very neat and clean. It just comes out that little tube, um, the little hole there. And <clears throat> the rest of the lid stays nice and clean. I do feel like uh, over time uh, the, the epoxy might leach out of this plastic. So this is something that you might need to redo every few months or so. Just keep an eye on it. I don't store mine upside down right now. Um, I might try that and let y'all know. See if I had the faith to store it upside down. Um, there might be some other tumbler makers that do that. I just haven't, haven't gotten there yet. And I keep my room fairly warm. So, um, the fluidity of my epoxy is not that big of an issue, um, to need it to be stored upside down at the moment, but uh, I know that is a thing for some of you. So, I'm going to get the tutorial started. Just stay tuned. Keep watching. You'll see how I cleaned them out and removed the decals. The great value ones definitely did better, um on the decals coming off and then I just wanted to say a quick disclaimer um I'm not a chemist or anything so I really don't know if there is any leftover soap or leftover vinegar or ketchup tomato paste whatever if you don't get it all cleaned out um I don't know what that would do to your epoxy so I I'm not going to be held responsible for if you mess up a whole gallon of your epoxy because you've watched this tutorial. So please know that ahead of time that you are doing this on your own and um, and that I can't guarantee anything. And if you use brand new bottles that have never been used, then you don't have to worry about cleaning the ketchup out of the lid. Whereas if you save bottles that you've already used, um, you're going to have a little bit harder time cleaning all that ketchup out of the lid, all the dried ketchup. 
And also, um, I think Beth from Tumblr Proxy, she has some honey bottles, some empty honey bottles that she'll, I think she'll put in. Um, you might be able to order it when you order Tumblr Proxy. And I'll put a screenshot up of the honey bottles that I'm talking about. Um, so if you don't want to go through the, um, the hassle, I guess, of cleaning out these ketchup bottles, um, you want to start out with something brand new and clean. You could try the uh, honey honey bottles, um, and I, again, I'll put the screen shot of them, and I could link some in the comments. I have not tried them though, um, but I did try these, and the epoxy squirts out amazing, um, super, super um, sharp, clean, neat. See if I could show y'all. Without making a mess. Look how easy that is. And then the tip had a little bit of a blip right there. That I would probably clean off just to keep the, the lid nice and clean. Very, very nice. Poured out with no bubbles. My room is 75 degrees. So, um, really, really like that. Poured out so easy. Alright, so let's get started with the tutorial. Hi friends, it's Mona with Rock City Tumblers. So I'm coming to you from our kitchen today and I was going to show how um, I'm going to take these ketchup bottles and clean them out so that I can use them to store epoxy. So I know this kind of seems like a general um, question or easy to figure out but um, you know, how do you get the deep, the labels off, things like that. So that's what we're going to cover. Um, so these were from, there's a great value brand. It's Walmart brand. And then this is Hunt's. These both came from Walmart. I think this was like $1.30. I can check on the price and put it on the screen for you. Um, you can get these at Dollar General for like a dollar. Some people made it to Dollar Tree had them. So um, the question is, what do you do with ketchup? So... Um, this one doesn't say it, but the Hunt's brand does suggest that you refrigerate after you open it. Oh, spilling my stuff. That you refrigerate after you open it. So, what you can do if you don't have a jar or anything to put it in, you can put it in, um, you know, real heavy duty clear Ziploc bag. You can put it in a couple of smaller ones until you're ready to use it and then refill an existing, um, container that you already have, like so we're down to here on this one. So I'm gonna transfer some of it into here and that way you're not wasting product. Um, we don't really do a lot of ketchup in our house. We're a little bit low sodium, but um, you know. So the ideal reason that these are so good to store your epoxy in is because the um, openings are quite large on some of these bottles. Uh, let's see. And it's easy to pour your epoxy in. Neither one of these are large. So I'm going to pull the little security tab off the seal.
And um, if you are storing these for future, you might be able to freeze these, but just keep track of the expiration dates on the lid. I don't want anyone getting sick or anything. So, I'm just transferring it into another container so we're not wasting it. All right, so I'm gonna get these uh, emptied out and I will see you when I'm done. Okay, so I've got my bottles pretty much emptied out. So the thing that you wanna remember is um, don't empty them out using the lid because you wanna keep that lid clean and free of any, um, any ketchup. So just dump them out using the spout. And next we're gonna talk about cleaning out the bottle itself from the ketchup residue that's left and then also removing the label so sometimes you can use heat to remove the label but um, I don't know how well how thick this plastic is so we're just going to use hot water and Dawn dish soap so we're going to clean this out just using water hot water I'm going to repeat this on all of them We'll repeat this step on all of them. And you could you could take this outside and use your garden hose. You know, whatever you need to do. So also I noticed on this one that there was a little bitty flap there of the seal. So we want to make sure all of that is is removed that way none of that gets in your epoxy later so now that all of the ketchup is out of the insides we wouldn't need to rinse these out with a lot of dawn soap I like the blue dawn so i'm going to put some of that in there just a little dollop and you can see that on the there, we hot water and fill it up. Fill it about halfway, and then I'm going to shake it. Again, I'm not gonna use the lid, because I don't wanna get any soap on the lid. The lids are clean, relatively clean at this point. So I'm trying to get all of the um, ketchup out and any of the vinegar, anything in there. So this I'm just gonna fill up and let it soak. I'm gonna repeat that with all of the bottles. So there's still a lot of soap. There's still a lot of soap left in this, so um, I want to make sure that I rinse this several times, probably five times, to make sure all of the soap residue is completely out of this bottle. Because if I don't, when I go to put my epoxy in it, there's going to be soap in my epoxy, and that could affect the hardening. <clears throat> excuse me, that could affect the hardening of my epoxy later. So once we get all of the soap out of here, we want to. Um, try to get rid of the labels, the decals here. Um, so you can see that they're already starting to peel off just from the moisture that's been around and just cleaning it out. So I can try to help it by pulling on it. And if I notice there's a big lump of adhesive that's kind of staying behind, I could try to wipe that with it. A lot of times you can use your heat gun to get help decals come off, but um, I don't want to melt this plastic, so I'm not going to use my heat gun for this. You can have more water ready, so hot water to help it. So I'm going to work on finishing cleaning out the inside and getting this off. Another thing you can do is you can fill it up with water and put it in a hot sink, a sink full of hot water, and just let it soak. Um, and if it's filled with hot water, 
or filled with water, then it will sink to the bottom and stay underneath the water. So that makes it. So hold on to this, put this in the trash. Don't let this go down your, your drain. So I'm gonna keep working on this. I'm gonna keep cleaning up the inside, making sure there's no soap in there. And I'm also gonna work on the outside, make sure there's no residue from the decal. So I'll catch up with you um, in just a little bit when these are clean. So here's an update. The Heinz brand, the decal does not wanna come off as well. So they are soaking in the hot water. The um, Great Value brand, the decal came off easy peasy. You can see how clean the bottle is. So these need to dry overnight, get completely dry. You don't want a single speck of water in there because that will mix with your epoxy. So we're gonna let these dry. I don't have any way of rushing that process um, because anything you do will introduce um, paper towel lint or um, heat that could possibly melt the bottle. So we're just going to let these completely air dry overnight. And um, these will do the same on these as soon as I get the decals off. So these are soaking. All of these soak for probably a good half hour and come back and check on them. Hi friends. So it's only been about 15 minutes, but I was gonna go ahead and check and see if these were ready. You can see this one is peeling itself off. I'm just like shimmying it and it's coming off. And I was going to also mention that um, I bought two different size bottles. That would help me later not get them mixed up. If I was using the exact same size bottles, um, then I might accidentally pour um, like part A of a quicker setting epoxy with part B of a non-faster setting epoxy. So that was my thought behind buying two different types of bottles. Because I have two brands of epoxy. I have a... I have a um, a longer setting epoxy and then I have the fast, faster setting epoxy. So again, I don't want this goop to go down my drain, so I'm throwing that, trying to throw that in the trash as much as I can. So I'm just rubbing, it's a lovely sound, I'm trying to get um, that adhesive off. And if it's soaked longer, this might come off easier. But it's still pretty easy. This is what I didn't know when I saw um, my friends using the bottles. I didn't know how hard this part was. I didn't know if this needed to soak all day. But the Walmart ones came, uh, great value brand came off immediately. Also, um, I don't know how long the plastic will last to use these. Um, Epoxy can leach through some plastic, which is one of the reasons why the FIFA bottles kind of end up failing. So this might be something that you have to do every um, four or five months, replace these. And um, you can buy like empty honey containers, and I could try to put a link to that. Um, I know Beth with Tumblr, Tumblr Epoxy uses them or has mentioned them. Um, but by the time you pay for shipping and all of that, you could have just paid the dollar, dollar fifty for these at your grocery store. You can see that one came off, kind of all. Two pieces. The Great Value brand definitely wins on the decal. Ease of coming off. So I'm just taking my finger and scratching it. You could take a, a brush, scratch it too. I 
trying to make sure all that adhesive is gone so that it doesn't accidentally end up in my mixing bowl, mixing epoxy bowl later. So I didn't have to do any of this with the great value bread. to run my garbage disposal so any little adhesive part doesn't um, hang around it goes ahead and gets washed out um, I'll turn turn this off um, before I do that so you don't have to hear that so these I'm going to rinse out again just just to make sure that there is zero soap I just want to make sure there's zero soap left in there hot water Now you can check because after about the fifth time you go to shake it if there's any soap left in there you will see bubbles but um, I would do a minimum of five times rinse out and then then do that test just to make sure So we have four bottles ready to dry overnight. We're gonna let these air dry and then tomorrow I'll show you how I fill them. See y'all tomorrow. Bye guys. So I just used the same bowl that I was using to soak and I've put towels around them so that they're standing upright so that all the water can drain down. Um, and you might kind of lift them up just a smidge so that they can get a little bit of air. So as soon as these get all dry, there's zero water left in them, we will put the epoxy in. Hi friends, so I'm back. So the ketchup bottles have been drying for several days. I actually had other stuff to do, so um, they're super dry. And so now I need to pour the epoxy into the, um, into the clear bottles. So there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Um, you could just try to eyeball it, you could use a funnel, um, you know, I'm just going to try to eyeball it and see how it goes. I did get my room super warm, it's 82 degrees, so hopefully the epoxy will move pretty quick. If you are not a patient person or a study person or you get distracted super easy, I would not do it this way. I would try to use like a funnel you can get a funnel at Walmart or Dollar Tree you know but um you're gonna have to clean it out really really well in between each each part or throw just throw the funnel away um you know uh, because you don't want to accidentally get one part of one into another so I'm doing chaos resin this is the lickety split this is part a I'm going to write it with a sharpie on here so that I don't forget. And then I can make a cute decal for that later. And um, I'm going to write on the lid too. super slow. I don't know if you'll be able to see because the camera angle, but we'll see. It's doing better than I thought it would. So you have to be careful if you get a big air bubble that bulges into the um, gallon container 
then a big bo bubble will bulge out and attempt to make a mess and I'm sure y'all know that which is why you're trying to put them in these smaller containers so that it's easier to mix with so I'm not going to fill it all the way up lid on it really tight and there we go I now have my resin in um, cleaned out ketchup bottles so it's that easy let's see how part B does write it on here So um, I do like this lickety split. It's a great consistency. However, it does need a lot of heat to cure. And um, I don't necessarily recommend it on the last layer, um, especially if the room is not super, super hot. So um, I haven't, haven't tried another facet yet. I was thinking about trying the Mr. Nola's facet when it comes out or even the Tumblr Poxy. Um, they're going to have one come out soon, so, take that. My Lickety Split was from the pre-order in June, and it has turned quite, quite yellow. I um, haven't noticed it on the cup. This was a cup that I did in August. Well, the, the, um, fluorescent lights kind of make it look yellow too so um sometimes I say the jugs can make it look yellow we're gonna see what happens in this yeah it looks same same yellow in the in the ketchup container as it does in the jug it's really yellow So this was their first batch. The other batches may not be so bad. Maybe I can find some things to use it for with, but that's super yellow. Of course the part A is not. Anyway, so we're not here to talk about epoxy. We're here to just fill up the bottle. So now I'm going to do my stone coat. And these I've had since probably September and they are crystal clear. These are bigger containers because um, I knew I was going to use this. I love the stone coat, but um, it does take like 12 hours to get dry to the touch. So I don't really do stuff that I'm in a whole lot of hurry. So this bottle itself looks like it has some yellowing to it, just maybe from the color of the ketchup. This was the, um, I think the great value ones. So you might keep that in mind if you do this, but you don't, um, don't think your epoxy is yellow. It could be the, the ketchup bottle.
Slow and steady wins the race. That's my slogan for everything. So this is my first time using the ketchup bottles, so I don't know if I will store them upside down. I can try to do that and give you a um, update in the comments later. Um, I do know I bought some plastic syrup containers that were quite expensive. And the epoxy did eat the plastic after a while. Um, the uncured epoxy, so... Um, I do think that these ketchup containers do will have a shelf life. So that's something to kind of be mindful on. Um... But you might need to replace these every three or four months. <clears throat> so that's part A. And I did intentionally do different sizes so um, that I would know this one's smaller than this one. So that would help me if I'm reaching on the shelf, help me try to keep, keep them separated. So that might be something that you think about if you're going to do this and you have multiple types of epoxy. You might not do them all the same, same size bottle and that way you don't get them um, mixed up. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So the um, Walmart Great Value brand bottles are definitely just yellow on their own. The epoxy is pretty clear, but the bottle themselves, I can just see the yellow in them. Alright, so that's how you... So that's how you pick your bottles and um, label them, clean them out, and all that fun stuff. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Upon further review of the products and how long it took to clean the ketchup bottles and anything that could possibly go wrong, I think in the future I'm going to purchase these 32 ounce 10 pack. From Amazon these are honey bottles they have the silicone nipple on the lid just like the ketchup ones do so I think they were gonna work and the cost would just be over two dollars a piece after tax so thanks guys for watching you'll have a great day